For this one, we're gonna work on some easy drawing warm-up exercises. And if you're a beginner and you've never drawn before, this is a great place to start. If you've been drawing for a while, you know, this is a great way to begin your session. We're gonna start with a line begins thin, line gets thick. Line gets thin, line gets really thick. If you're using a pencil, that's fine. What I do is I would hold it like this, go thin here, and turn the pencil to get thick. So you go thin to thick. And then you, you want to go the other direction, thick to thin. Marker, thick to thin. So you want to do dark to light and light to dark. So you want to go very light, soft, soft pressure. Increase, increase, increase till you get extremely dark. Then you want to go the other direction. Begin very dark, decrease pressure. So these exercises are intended to get the most out of your medium. Exercise number two. That is the line falls down, line gets up exercise. So you're going to start with a line. And you want that line to start to fall over. And fall down. And then get back up again. And then you want to give that do that same thing, except give it a little bit of an arc. Then you can do the same exercise again, but this time you can give it an S-curve. So that's just a little exercise to practice the motion and elegance of line work. You can do that same line falls down, line gets up exercise by making a little boundary box triangle for that. So this is going to be your line. That line is going to fall. And what this does is it helps you keep the line length about the same. One of the problems that you can do with the line falls down exercise is your lines all get different lengths. Which, that's fine and all, but for the purposes of a warm-up exercise, consistency is better. Another one to do uh, is to make your lines get wider and, or longer progressively as they come to you. And one of the things you do is you can turn your paper around to make it more comfortable to draw. Another variant of that is to increase the space between the lines as they come forward. So you start together and you just get further and further apart until you can't really go anymore. Again, based on a triangle, and this is kind of a, a basic linear perspective exercise. This one I call the progressive box exercise. So first you're going to start with a triangle, or at least part of a triangle, and you're going to start with small divisions and increase the distance between them as you come down. And then you're going to draw boxes. Essentially, you're doing a series of overlapping planes. But it's sort of fun. It's a good little warm-up. Gets you ready to do um, objects in relation to each other, introduce you to overlap. And you can do this with basically any shape that you want. And you can box anything out to make it overlap. Just a quick little simple warm-up exercise. Easy, fun, no big deal plays around with a couple of drawing concepts and sets you up for some interesting things. 